What's up, everybody? Yellow. So um, I'm going to do something here that most people probably are going to think is a little crazy, um, but I had to try it out before I could know. So I have the special edition WRM V9 here. Um, this is the one with the baby blue internals where the edge repelling magnets and the maglev have been removed. Um, so you can, I know most people probably know this, but if you don't, you can buy maglev kits on the cubicle, um, especially for if you have any MoU cube um, with any with the dual compression system, any MoU cube with dual compression will that maglev kit will work. Um, so what I kind of thought of is I wasn't as impressed with the special edition as everyone else was. Um, I actually like the ball core UV, the regular like the, the high end the regular edition um, WRM WRM V9 better. I got the you know the highest end one before the 20 magnet core and the super way long and all that came out. I got the the highest end ball core UV WRM V9 and I I bought this one first because everyone recommended it. And then I got the other one just because it was on sale. And I was like, oh my God, why did I ever get this? So I know it's more controllable. There's a lot of reasons why people like it better. But for me, like the corner cutting, and I think this is something I'm gonna address right now, but adding maglev to me, it improves corner cutting. I have done, I've put maglev into every single standard MoU. I bought the WRMV9, the YS3M, the RS3M, I bought two different RS3M V5s, one standard, one dual compression. I actually added compression cups to the standard and added maglev because, and that key was actually right here. And um, you can see like, I can corner cut to the second line. I mean, it is unreal. And if I just get too far, it just goes the other way. But this thing, there's nowhere it doesn't corner cut. And so because the compression cups don't sit flush into the middle center cup because it doesn't have the teeth in the middle cup it's like on compression level three so it's it you don't have to tighten it as much and your compute your uh, can cube is already I take it, your computer but your cube is already compressed slightly so you don't need to tighten it as much but this thing has way more rigidity and holds its form like it does like before it was so so squishy and it really it really doesn't that's that's i'm really trying and it's not not going anywhere um the performance feels amazing it's something i'd have to get a little bit used to because it feels tighter than it did because it just straight felt flimsy before um but that's kind of what i feel about this cube is it's it's flimsier it's it's got way more like deformation it it, it it just, it doesn't hold its form. Um, the speed is not something I've ever had to worry about. And especially since we don't have edge repelling magnets in here, I don't really see any reason not to put maglev in. Um, if it's too fast, I can always take it out, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it. And I know most of you will probably think I'm crazy for doing this, but um, I like the maglev, I like the performance, I like you know pretty much everything about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. Um, when it's your cube, you can do what you want. <laughs> uh, just kidding, of course, but um, no, that's true though. <laughs> it was your cube, you can do whatever you want to it. And this is something I that I honestly didn't think of it. And I was just, I was buying the maglev kits for the standards. And I was like, you know what? what? I'm like, I can't, again, it hit me like a load of bricks. I'm just like, but how have I not thought of this? You know, I've added maglev to every other MoU cube I have. And the one that I'm not completely satisfied with the performance and I haven't tried to adjust it. So let's change that. Okay, so I did a whole video on this before, so I'm probably just gonna go over like one side with you and then I'll cut to the end and I'll go over performance with you uh, because this is something I have a whole video on. I did a tutorial on changing compression cups, what the difference is, or sorry, adding maglev, and I also did another tutorial on changing the compression cups and what the difference is between them. So uh, yeah, you have a good amount uh, oh, oh, there's the washer and say where to go, but I should, if you ever drop something metal and you can't find it, check the magnets. <laughs> They're mostly, most likely got sucked up to the magnets. So this is one thing I always do. And if you don't, you might want to just because if you are unhappy with the maglev, you can always put the screws or the springs back in. So every time, um, I will take the bag that the maglev magnets came in and I will go ahead and put my screw, my washers and my spring in there. And they'll do that for every side. That way, um, again, if something were 
maybe not right. If you didn't love the outcome, then you would at least, I mean, these magnets are intense. You can't set them down anywhere. Can't take these things anywhere. But, um, <laughs> sorry, old, old person joke. So we just need our, our magnets to be opposing polarity. This is, this is the easiest, like when dealing with magnets and cubes, it can be a little bit daunting. Like that's why I've been trying to do lots of videos on magnetizing my cubes and whatnot is, or magnetizing the give the giveaway cubes and stuff is because it's not as straightforward as people would make you think. I mean, it is on a three by three, but like something like this two by two, it was, you know, it, it's still straightforward, but conceptually when you're thinking about it, it, it just, it doesn't make a lot of sense until you see it done until you physically lay it out and do it. Um, but so there's one side in, uh, let me get a paper towel and wipe this. I'm getting like grease all over the top, but now we have maglev in that side. Let's see. That's actually about the perfect, uh, tension. I have this on zero compression. So I'm going to, I'm going to turn them all to one just cause why not? Like zero compression seems like, like I'm not trying or something, but all right. So I'm going to just cut it there. I'm going to finish. And then I'll cut back when I, um, have a, a final verdict. Ooh, the top layer already feels better. I have a feeling my answer is going to be, this is way better. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think I can tell you, but let me, let me put the rest, but so, I mean, it is faster. I will say, um, but, and it, but because it doesn't have the edge repelling magnets pushing and pull, you know, and forcing those turns, it actually feels so good. So let me finish and I'll get you a full, a true, oh my gosh, even just the top, just moving the top layer, you can feel it as it move the bottom layer and it's like a drastically different. I mean, a whole different cube. So let me finish this up. I'll get back to you soon. What's up everybody? Yellow. So um, in the last clip, I was just talking about how I'm going to take my WRM V9 Special Edition and I'm going to go ahead and take the springs out and re-add maglev because I'm just personally not impressed with the performance of that cube. Um, I know it's a lot of people's favorites and it's like the answer to the V9 being too fast and there's a lot of things why this was, cube was supposed to be the best, but and I bought it for those reasons and was not impressed. So. I'm gonna go ahead and like I said, I wanted to give a review on the performance after adding maglev. So you saw me in the last clip, I added maglev to the top and I just started feeling it and it started feeling really nice. And so I was like really excited to get the rest of the cube done, which is done. Um, so one thing I wanna explain about why I did this too is because um, I, I really didn't have the idea until I started putting maglev into all of my standard cubes. So. I'm not like a sponsored cuber. I don't get like, when I buy a cube, I buy one cube. Like most people, when they're sponsored, they get like every version of a cube so they can feel the standard, the dual compression, the mag, just maglev, the ball core UV maglev, you know, the decked out version. They can feel them all next to each other. I really haven't had that chance. So um, it wasn't till I bought the maglev kit and inserted it into a standard cube. and. And this is where I'm going off of everyone else's reviews so far, and they all said that the maglev wasn't as good and they just preferred the standard, but I don't feel the same way. Um, so let me explain why. Uh, this is a standard rs 3 v 5 um, It's usually extremely like flexible, flimsy. You know, that's really what like standard cubes are, is they're like really just cheap. They have just springs and a screw and maybe a dual compression if you're lucky, but um, just springs and screw is really all they're promising you and, and maybe some magnets. Uh, but that's usually a budget cube or a budget or a standard budget cube, you know? Like, um, so this cube, um, like again, it, it didn't perform well. It was flimsy, all that, all this and that. But after adding maglev, I did it to the YS3M, the WRM V9 standard, the RS3M V5 standard. Um, I've done it to any standard cube that I can put maglev in and it has improved the performance on every single one. I said this in my maglev, um, adding maglev video too, and I stand behind this. Um, something that the, the springiness of the magnets is just different. Springs can wear out. They can lose their springiness. Uh, it just, there's no guarantee those are going to last forever. I mean, your cube is definitely also going to change feel over time where maglev, I mean, they, magnets can lose their polarity slightly or whatever, but I feel like it's going to be a lot harder for magnets to be demagnetized and totally stop working in this rather than a spring kind of either breaking or wearing out or whatever. Plus these are, are silent. There's no spring noise. There's, 
I know spring noise isn't a problem for a lot of people, but I'm just saying that is a plus. Um, but so yeah, I have this now, this standard cube that has maglev and it can literally like corner cut. So this is, this is 45. This is at like one line. This is at two lines forward corner cutting. It, it will corner cut anywhere. So reverse, I mean, let's go, I mean, anywhere you put it, it'll, it'll reverse or forward corner cut now. And that's something that wasn't happening before with the springs. And I just believe that the maglev springiness is just, it's different. And it, it allows for more forgiveness because you can literally compress that all the way up until the magnets are almost touching and they're going to give you that really good bounce back. Because that's the other thing about magnets is the closer they get together, the more intense that, that re like repelling, you know, power is. So when you get really close, it's going to push back and snap. And that's where some people don't like that snappiness. I like it. Um, and you can hear it in the corner cutting. It's a little bit like snap, snap, snap. I mean, it's a little bit like harsh, you could say, but like at the same time, if it can corner cut anywhere, it's not that harsh. Um, and so this is just an example of why I got into this project. So now let's switch over to the WRMV9. Um, this has had all, all sides at maglev put in. I've adjusted it and tensioned it slightly. Um, it's still, at, I think I, I put it to one compression just because I wanted to see if it made any difference. And I'm probably going to turn that up to like three or something now, but because it definitely is different. Um, it's, um, how do I explain this? Um, it's, it's like more. So, and I said, okay. So I said this in the actual versus the unboxing. I said this in multiple videos about this cube is I had a very hard time when I got it matching the level of tension that worked for my turnstile with performance. So like I could hardly, there was times where I couldn't even corner cut at 45 degrees. And again, this is supposed to be a special edition, better than their top of the line cube and whatnot. And I get it and I couldn't even corner cut at 45 degrees. I had to loosen it or find some way and that's why my compression was never anything higher than zero. I figured if, I, if it doesn't corner cut at zero compression, how am I gonna make it tighter? So again, I felt very restricted. I really have barely used this cube because of it. That's a $44 waste of money in my opinion. So for the like $5 or whatever the magnet lev kit costs, I figure I can turn it into the, a cube that I'd actually use. And I was right. Um, I, at least in my opinion, this is, I'm, and I, that's what matters because I'm the one that's using it. But um, I truly stick by the fact that I think maglev is better in almost every cube. Um, there's probably some original like standard cubes that are great with springs and whatever. But I just would say that if any cube I've added maglev to, it's improved the, the quality and the performance. I mean, it's, it's so smooth. I mean, and again, like it's not, you notice I, I was doing those M slices too. So you would see no overshooting because I, I did all of those H perms in a row without a single over rotation. Uh, I mean, anything, I mean, it, the, the, the cube is lubed, but not all that heavy. I mean, I just put a, my standard, I put angstrom on one piece. I put mystic in a couple corners and FC calm in a couple corners and that's it. I mean, this thing is not slowed down to the point of like, you know, where that, that would be the, the difference. I mean, it's definitely the maglev, but, um, also one of the things, this is just a stupid little hack that I do, but it's helped me. So when I'm, I still have my pieces here. I'm about to finish the customization. Um, I was, while I was waiting for these to dry, I figured I would add maglev to my cubes, but, um, so the cases, your Moyu cases, uh, I'm just going to say they work really well for holding your tools and whatnot. So like, this is my spring or my mag my magnets, which if you have ever magnetized anything, you know that if you have anything metal anywhere, their magnets go flying everywhere. You have screwdrivers going towards the magnets. I mean, it's, it's crazy where I found if I just set them in this, you know, one side of this box, um, they tend to not go flying everywhere. And I mean, and they're, they're this is, these are all my, so secondary, this is all the springs. So I save all of my springs. I'll go ahead and write on here, uh, WRM V nine S E. And so I know if I ever, you know, don't like this maglev setup, I can just go ahead and pop the springs back in. I have all the springs for every cube I've ever, I've ever taken it out. This is what I say. I don't get rid of things really. I save them because you never know when they're going to come in handy. But I've also noticed all the springs were different. 
the YS3M springs were different from the WRM springs were different from the uh, RS3M V5 springs. So that's why I had to label them all too, is because if you want them to return to feeling how they felt, you need to put the right ones in. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. Um, like I said, that little tr trick, I it's just, like I said, this is just keeps all of your pieces nice and organized. You have, I had my bag of springs in here, so I could just keep putting my springs in as I went, pulling my magnets out of here. Otherwise, I mean, I, I found some like metal washers underneath here that I didn't even know existed because, oh, sorry. Sorry about that, my earpiece fell out, but um, I, I found some metal washers where like the magnets were sitting on my table and underneath my cubing mat, there's a washer that must've got under there somehow. And I'd be like moving it and it was like lifting up my mat. And I was like, oh, what, what is that? And so yeah, you just, it's so much easier if you keep your, your project kind of contained instead of having just stuff everywhere. Like it probably even looks like this is kind of messy, but this is actually very organized. I have all of my pieces um, for the magnetization. So here's your, you know, the sides all magnetized, Oop. but you can see the magnets are doing their job. Um, but anyways, this is not about the magnets and all that. This is not about that project. I just was saying that I keep my space pretty organized. I have like three projects going on right now, but I don't feel overwhelmed. And I'm someone that I can get, I have a little anxiety sometimes. <laughs> like I have a little, get a little claustrophobic when too many cubes and things get all around me. But Again, like this helps me feel organized. I have like, even now I can put all of my torpedoes from all of my corner pieces for my next project, put them in here. Um, pretty much, I just think these are great little containers for using during your projects. Um, but that's just a little, little like hack, I guess I'll call it for me. Same thing, like I have more magnets. I can put that in my magnet one and everything's organized. But this is just a little, a few little tips, but you guys have a great night and uh, yeah, check out the maglev. You guys have to tell me, you know, what you really think. If you have to try it for yourself, maybe. But because um, again, if you can always put your springs back. There's not like it's a it's a permanent thing or anything. But um, I have to say, this it actually this is almost like I feel like what the, the special edition should have been. Because if you didn't want that like auto alignment feeling, then absolutely get rid of those edge repelling magnets. But personally, I think this re-increases the performance again because I think that brought the performance way down by putting those springs in there so I think this this brings the performance back up and um yeah and like I said it's not like it's not too fast by any means it, it wasn't I don't think it was the maglev I think it was in them working together I think it was the maglev having no friction turning so easily but then also the edge repelling magnets pushing the, the layers to move um so again with no edge repelling magnets this thing is like perfect um, again, I would love for someone else to try this. Maybe let me know what you think if you do, um, or if you have any questions for me, if you're considering it, please let me know because, um, I would absolutely recommend, oh my gosh, it's so smooth. Like I, hands down, there's no comparison. Um, I, again, I know there's going to be the anti-maglev crowd out there that's like, nah, but if you're into maglev, give it a shot. It's super worth it. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there that, that went ahead and bit when this cube came out. So, um, yeah, if I can help you make it better, I will. So, uh, and again, if you love it the way it is, then rock it. I'm not telling you to change anything. I'm just saying this is what worked for me. So you guys have a great day. Peace.